Just don't hit it like that. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that was. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> I thought I left my shoelaces at home on these shoes until I realized that. Oh, that's easy. How cool. Got some waterproof Furies on today. Shoelaceless. Silly me not knowing that. For our second round of the day today, we're at Lady Bank. Um, beautiful course. They say it's going to be quite challenging in that you have to hit fairways. Uh, lots of fescue, heather, um, right off the fairway, tree line. So accuracy is going to be key here. Um, but yeah, this is, I'm excited for this one, especially because when we saw the forecast, and we're learning how quickly the forecast can change here in Scotland, but when we saw the forecast yesterday, everyone was saying today was going to be a washout. You know, torrential rain was, was predicted. And we've had a drizzle here and there. We've got all the rain gear with us just in case, but hey, so far, not too bad. A little bit of sun peeking through. But like I said, if it comes down, throw the rain gear on, just keep trucking. All right, maybe Gavin's getting a little too much faith in us. He's challenging us a bit here, playing the medals, the whites. 6,600. 6,600, which in and of itself is not terribly long, but when you have to be long. super accurate, it gets a little bit more difficult. Right. When, it, when it's tight, 66 feels like a lot more. Yeah, it's gonna feel about seven. Yeah. I mean, those fairways are like. Check it out. We're going hands off this round. I want you guys give me the ghost this right into Mike right now. Oh, stop it and save him. <laughs> this is a real treat right now. Beautiful course. Cannot remember the last round we played where it wasn't super windy. So you can kind of go after it a little bit more. Got this taking care of my bag for me. And it's different too. I mean, we could just play Lynx courses all day, but I like this variation. I seem to experience a little bit of everything. And it's amazing how much variation is in just such a short drive around St. Andrews and Edinburgh and all that area. You can pretty much experience almost every type of golf. Different day, different experience, different challenges. I like that. It's really good. Looks like an easy putt, man. <laughs> right? What would you say that cup is? A good 36 pounds. 26 inches above my feet. 28 maybe. 28. <laughs> okay, that was the idea, I just need a little more than that. Nice to be in short sleeves again, isn't it? Yeah, no wind. It's wild too, <laughs> literally, in the matter of a span of 30 minutes out here, you go from three layers to one. Right. right, but don't want to jinx it. Don't jinx know, it, man. Please. We could go right back to the three layers. <laughs> Mike's getting his workout in.
That's the tough part with these tree-lined courses, which is actually we're more used to playing at home. Push my drive just a little bit right, right here in the trees, and I got nothing I can do with it. No line of sight to that green. Again, I have to take my lumps, pop it out here somewhere in the fairway, and hopefully give myself a third shot at the green. Oh, that's spectacular. Oh. Seventh hole here at Lady Bank. I'm telling you, it's nice to be hands free. Right, Frank? Nice to be hands free. It's funny, Frank and I aren't usually competitive out here, but I'm hoping I beat him today. He's been beating me pretty bad the last few rounds, so <laughs> I want to take him down. You know, it's funny, one of the most remarkable things about this game to me is on any two given days, you may have the same score on the scorecard but it feels completely different. Like some days you're working for that score and other days it feels like it comes easy. This is one of those rounds where I'm working for it <laughs> on every shot. Four. That's what he gets for walking up ahead of me. I didn't hit him, don't worry. And that's what I was just talking about. That is a scrappy par right there. That is a scrappy par. That's not gonna be. Still got the green, I think. No, too what much. Did you hit? Too much. I just hit an eight. No, you hit five. I pulled the wrong club. You five? I pulled the wrong club. I pulled the wrong club. I have not remember ever right, doing it. We'll get you some sleep we gotta get tonight, some right? Sleep. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully make me feel better about that bonehead play. Has anybody else done that? Grabbed the wrong club from the bag? If so, comment below. Let me know which, which club you grabbed by mistake. Could it be as bad as a five when you think you had an eight? We got a really protected little par three here. Small green and bunkers right, left, and center. What do you say we pull the right club this time? Maybe not hit a five iron here? Maybe we'll just hit a five iron on all the par threes going forward. We're gonna play a nice seven iron here and just try to get it over that front bunker. Somewhere on that little green. That's the game plan anyway. Yeah. Okay. You're right guys, you know how I said Frank's been beating me up all week and I said I want to beat him today? I said that secretly into the camera. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I want to, I want to kick his ass today. So, a little scoring update. I got Frank by one stroke after nine. There's a shot that felt pretty good. Hit a four iron there, and that's where I was fortunate enough to go last in the group because I was dead convinced on a uh, five iron. I saw everybody come up a little bit short. So I went four, put it to 10 feet. That erases some of those bad shots there. All right, so here's one of those situations, right? I have not been hitting my three wood well, so I usually stay away from it. But then you get a situation like this when you really have every excuse taken away not to hit it, right? Gotta learn to hit We're it, man. 300 out, middle of the fairway, flat lie, par five. It takes all the excuses Interesting. away. You just gotta hit it, right? Smooth swing, man. Just gotta hit it. And that's what happened. 
Well, it's not a terrible oh, I, miss. You missed that way. What's the worst case? I could I could hit a five iron that far. But we say it on the podcast all the time, right? Practice the shots you don't know how to hit because it's the only way to learn how to hit them. And you just uh, you take the mistakes and you roll with them. You learn from them. All right, question is, can we make up for the mistake? You can still get a green regulation here. Unfortunately not, we're short. Another pretty little uh, green here. A couple of tricky greenside bunkers around it and just a beautiful backdrop. Right, Frank. When driver's not working, yeah, you end up with shots like this. It's been working most of the day. All just right. had a rough one here. That's pretty, you know. And just move it along. Just get it down there. Oh, what bad luck. Oh, what bad luck. All right, guys. 78 hole, check it. That's right, we've played 78 holes over the last three days. We're on the 15th here at Lady Bank, so we have uh, this one and then three more to go. We will be at about 81 after this. So overall feeling good. Never played this much golf in this short of a span um, because I just don't have the time, but uh, feels good. So we're halfway through the trip here and the legs are strong. Ibuprofen helped today with some of the headaches. Was a little dehydrated, you know, comes with the travel. But uh, I don't know, let's get to the halfway point. Maybe go out for a pint tonight, celebrate that halfway point. Come back tomorrow with uh, another great course, Ely. Can't wait for that. I've got a special one for you tomorrow. This might be Mike's best drive of the day. Really? Yeah, you just hyped that one. No, did I? I thought I hit like a little. I'll take it though. No, I didn't it's, not, it, but it's not gonna be the end of the world. You're up there by the I'm green and two. What do you think of this round today? Great. You know, I just mentioned how uh, you know 78 holes in and the legs feel good. Yeah. Still excitement level still through the roof. Of course. I'm not tired at all. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe later tonight it will yeah. be but Gavin coming in silky. I've been really working on reframing my thinking. Instead of thinking, well, I missed the green on that approach. I'm thinking, well, there's an opportunity to practice my chipping. And it stays positive keeps me from making additional mistakes from being frustrated and it's true my chipping is getting better from those opportunities to practice it so your hunt the best way to look at it is there's a bunker there that's 185 to carry or if you're Mike, you might want to be aggressive and go left, driver down there and see if you can fade it all the way back. And the worst case scenario, I'm in that fairway. Yeah. But then what? Yeah, I'd hit it, I'd hit it just left of that buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Start it down this fairway yeah, yeah, yeah. and let it fade back in. Yeah. Right, yeah, we do it. But what Gavin's saying is right. If, let's say if you, hit, you it hit it, let's say you hit it dead straight, worst case, and you it. didn't fade it. You would just have to get a wedge up over the trees and on the green. Yeah. Now the caveat to this is those guys might be in the middle of a fairway, which definitely heightens the rest. Right. The caveat might be you might kill someone, <laughs> but that's golf. Gavin, it worked. It worked out. We could have stopped there, right? I was kind of hoping more or less. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so was I. Oh, I got really getting chunky lately. Unfortunately, the body is getting a little bit tired, Mike. I can tell. But it's all right. I think I'll catch a second win. Yeah. We get a rest. Tomorrow is only one round of golf. So that'll be our kind of rest up because Monday is epic. Monday, we're playing Crail and Kings Barnes. Huge day, day to be ready for, mm -hmm. right? Yep, talk about stamina. Talk about it. So get a nice ice bath, get the body back in order. Get out there and get after it again. Alright, I'm tired. I truthfully have got nothing left in the tank, but I'm going to push through. Mm. 
All right, 18 certainly isn't yeah. an easy one. Nope, certainly not. They challenge you all the way into the clubhouse. They do because this is not set up well for my shot shape. Lots of trees on the left, all sorts of crap on the right. Gavin has no faith in me right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am happy with that. Just on the front. Uh, 46 and 43. Wow. Broke 90 with that par on 18. 89. I want to add yours up now and see if I got you. <laughs> Maybe okay. You had a good run in the beginning here. Let's see. Yeah, I got a 19. <laughs> I fell off. Got you by four strokes. Oh. But I got him. Yes. I didn't think I was going to beat you at all this trip. Got you. <laughs> he rope doped me. Waiting for me to get really tired and then he beat up on me. All right, round five, 81 holes in the books. Today worked out to be an amazing day. Yeah. Hickory in the morning, incredibly peaceful, beautiful round here at Lady Bank in the afternoon. Great weather. Yeah, supposed to be a washout. Yeah. So we lucked out. We did, we had a little drizzle in the morning, no big deal, and uh, cleared up beautifully. That's right, so what are we gonna do now? Off to the pub, maybe grab a pint, grab something to eat, head back, relax. Tomorrow's a rest day. One rest round. day, Only one, one round. round, playing a great course called Ely. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Again, what time is it right now? Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. You could probably play nine more. Yeah, easily. Love this sunlight. Maybe See you guys. Hey man. After this, we'll have 81 rounds in the books. We'll be halfway through our trip. Tonight, we're going to go out and have a pint. 81 holes. 81 holes, what'd I say? 81 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine 81 rounds in three days? Yeah, yeah, a bit aggressive. 